Okay, the diode ring mixer actually, no no doubt about it, wins. Uh, w, I'm sorry, Radio Marti is still blast, blasting away at 7335. I got the diode ring in there now, and I have the, the uh, W70L um, diplexer, the low pass filter, and the 50 ohm through a 0.1 microfarad cap to ground. And it really, also the, uh, the input right now is putting 800 millivolts uh, peak at the VFO input port. So it's a pretty robust signal. But even with the robust signal at the VFO port, I'm getting very little AM breakthrough, either from um, Radio Marti at 7335 or from the uh, FTA, powerful FT8 stations from which we were, we were hearing breakthrough when we were using the two diode mixer circuits. So let me just play a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, we're up at the top end of, uh, of 40, near 7300. I'll go up to seven, I'll go up a bit now to, uh, you hear you start hearing Radio Marti and AM breakthrough as you get close to the frequency. There he is, 7335. Watch what happens. Now I'm in the hand band. Very little from Radio Marti. And watch, you'll see, look. There's FT8, that's the FT8 frequency, but just a little bit below it. Maybe you're hearing some FT8 breakthrough. But a lot less than you heard with the two diode mixers. I might need an RF gain pot here to knock some of this stuff down. But it's good to make the comparisons between the two diode mixer and the four diode ring. And there's, there's a real, I think, noticeable difference. Diode ring wins.